Ah, uh, boogie night, I should, Coco. Oh, yes, well, boogie time because we're going all the way over to Jonathan P. Taylor, singer, songwriter, resident in Bulgaria. Uh, Jonathan, good morning. Welcome to hey. Trust Global Radio. How are you doing? Dobber den, Bobby. I've had a shave. I've made myself beautiful for you today. Hey, how wonderful. I'm looking at your photo. You're strumming a good guitar now. I hey. believe you've got a new album out. I have, and it's a Scottish guitar too. Yeah, right. brand new album. Very excited. Six solo album. Uh, Forget Your Past, the Black Cell Studio Sessions, released right. uh, this month. 12 tracks, and it's, yeah, if I say so myself, it's the best stuff I've done. It's a good album. Uh, really? We've got a fantastic album cover too. Uh, photographs of the old uh, Buzz Ludz, uh, Communist Party headquarters up here at Shipka. Oh, right. Right. Fantastic photographs by my partner, Nicola Miller, photography. Everything about the album, Bobby, is very, very exciting. Well, I'd love to invite you to the studio. Make you come play live in the studio. We do that a lot. Then I will be in. I will take you up on that, sir. No problem at all. I mean, we've been promoting a beautiful young lady who's now been signed by London Management. Her name is Sophie Purdy, back in the UK. Uh-huh. And uh, her brother, Luke... Uh, they're in a band called Voodoo Six that have just been signed for all the big festivals in the UK. They started in the studio here. It's wonderful stuff. Well, good for them, and congratulations to you. No, no, uh, very, very, very busy down working on the coast at the moment. Absolutely right. stacks of work, um, bars, clubs, all the rest of it, and seems to be a, a massive kind of interest in barbecues at the moment in the afternoon. So, yeah. But, I mean, yeah, definitely. Later on, I'll be in touch and we'll do a live session. That'd be fantastic, mate. Much uh, appreciated. What inspired you about this album then to write? Right, well, this album, I, I came to live here with my partner in, I think it was 2006. Right. I mean, we're expats, we're from Britain. Um, I was born in Warwick, my partner's Scottish from Dumfries, but we were living in Yorkshire. Right. Uh, we came over here for the sunshine and the cost of living and living in the country. And I arrived here and I was working and I just, you know, like, I suppose any singer-songwriter, you're you're influenced by stories, what's going on around you, what's in your environment. And one of the big things for, for me was Baba Mata. I knew nothing about Baba Mata. Right. Old, oldest pagan festival in Europe yeah so i uh, did the research on that and people it was such a big festival you know people dancing on the bars you know and playing yeah. with the other, they're dancing. so i wrote baba mata and um i wrote another one about sophia sophia city of love right oh i've got another uh, lots and lots of songs um partisan which is a, a off an older album um but uh, and it's an interesting concept because when you talk partisans in bulgaria they they think of um kind of communist uh, political allegiance kind of fighters sure they do. Yeah, well. yeah. as brits when we talk about partisans like french partisans we we see them very much as anti-nazi resistance fighters in the war yep. so you have to kind of explain that you know the song isn't about communism the song is about resistance fighters you know yes of course um so i, I suppose I, I got living here and the more you know i just got influenced by what was going on in bulgarian history and bulgarian culture I wrote the song Izvinyave, which is about the fall of the regime and communism. Right. Um, but, I mean, the new album isn't all, you know, I mean, there's definitely three songs on that album now that are, are definitely, I'd say, Balkans. You know, they're, they're, they're stories about the Balkans. Right. Uh, one, of, one of them, interestingly, is Dimi's Violin. Uh, Valdi Totef, who's the, from the crickets, uh, known as the Bulgarian Beatles, massive musician over here. Yeah. And Dimi Dimitrova, uh, she's Russe Philharmonic Orchestra. Uh, well, they recorded with me on Baba Mata, and I got invited to her birthday party, and I thought, well, what do you give her? I mean, she's got everything. She's married to, you know, she's with the Valdi Totev. What more does she want? You well, know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sing a song. So I wrote this song as a birthday present, Dimi's Violin. Well, that's on there as well. Um, so all sorts of things, really, but there's a lot of Rocky tunes on there and uh, some wonderful, wonderful musicians from the UK as well. Fabulous stuff. Just go, I don't know whether you've listened to my show, but I get a lot of messages coming in as and when I'm interviewing people. Just have one coming in uh, from a lovely lady in Veliko Turnovo. She asked, have you written anything about the romantic city of Veliko Turnovo? <laughs> Well, I can tell you I have. If you uh-huh. go on to, um, just to plug a website, if you go onto my YouTube, mm-hmm. and the channel is JT Bulgaria, Juliet Tango, JT yep. Bulgaria, go down on there and find the song Vaseki Den, and that was filmed in Velika Tarnovo. The video for that was filmed in Velika Tarnovo. Well, there so, you go, lovely there you lady. Go. Tarnovo's got a very special song for it. Well, uh, incidentally, that song guys, is just being picked up by an overnight news agency. All right. Um, I'm talking to them in about two or three weeks. Uh, we were having a laugh. I mean, the Irish did okay, yeah. Congratulations, Ireland, for Jedward. But we didn't do very well with Mr. Hunt this year. <laughs> uh, no, 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 we didn't. And, and you have to feel for him. And I, and I love the song, I have to say. I, I think it was unfair. But, you know, you know, this is Eurovision, isn't it? But um, I 
read this article this reporter had read, and she says, well, Bulgaria had got eliminated from the final rounds. Maybe we should hire some Swedes to write a song. Yeah. So I responded to her and said, hey, British singer-songwriter here. Here's Vaseki Den. This one's a winner. So uh, fingers crossed. You never know. I'm trying to get that Vaseki Den that was filmed in Tarnum. I'm definitely trying to get them interested in that for Eurovision. Well, yeah. I think you've got we'll to, my Bulgarian man. get singing it. Yeah. You know, I just think it's a wonderful place. I'm absolutely uh, wonderful about uh, Veliko Tarnovo. I'm making my second visit there in July... Uh, we're yeah. doing It's a Knockout there. Yes, yes. Are you going to uh, be was around? It, uh, was it Crispy Bacon I was reading on yes. one of the forums was doing very well, wasn't he? Yes, I'm interviewing him again on Friday. <laughs> yeah, good luck to him. I good can't luck. wait. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. And do you know, there's Bulgarian and international teams as well as uh, expats taking part. Yeah, we'll have to get there. I do. Yes. We've got, a, we got a stage going up, mate, so I think we can do some stuff live. Yeah, absolutely, definitely. Put me down for that. I mean, we're we're Sevlievo, Gabrovo region. You know, we're what thirty miles away from Velika Tarnovo. Right, uh, I regularly there. I was there what a couple of days ago in Abernassi, sorting out some contracts. Beautiful place, love it. Sounds fabulous, mate. You sound ever so busy up that part of the world. I am extremely busy. Um, I've kind of got a, two two down days back home now in, in the village, which is just uh, three miles out of Sevlievo. Right. Um, like I said, I went, sorted out some contracts. I've got evening work, afternoon work. And in a nutshell, with everything else, the album, tried to get back to the UK for a launch party uh, and all sorts of things going on. But uh, towards the end of the summer, you know, end of September, then I'll literally take some downtime, mate, for six or eight weeks. Well, I want to give you some, somewhere else to, uh, to contact. Uh, they've only just yeah. started this week. It's called the Sofia Globe. Uh, ah, yes. If you, yes. Go, if you go to our front page, www.trustglobalradio.com, you'll see their logo. Click on it. And I'm sure Clive would love to hear about your story as well. I will do so. I have seen a link for it, this brand, brand new uh, so, um, website. But it's very, uh, very, you know, nice website. It's very slick, if that's the right word. Yes. So, yeah, I will get in touch with them, definitely. I know the brand's banking new. Very much so. I do believe uh, they've been in Bulgaria a number of years. It, uh, they were sort of connected with the uh, Sofia Echo, I do believe. Yes, yes, so, yes, indeed. Uh, another oh, avenue. Oh, talking about press, I know what I've just remembered now. Um, Velika Tarnovo News, seeing as we were talking about Tarnovo. Yes, Rachel, yes. Um, yeah, if, you, if you're not in the Tarnovo, you can get a free copy. You can get a free copy, but if you're not in the region, go online. They have an online copy of it. Uh, there's an article in the VT Times about the new album this month, so thank you, VT Times. So, Brilliant, yeah, yes. Them too, I appreciate that. All the support is wonderful, thank you. And I'm looking forward to interviewing the lovely Rachel quite soon. I think their new edition is due out this month. I don't know what data. Uh, I'm waiting for that information, but I'm yeah. going to be interviewing the lovely lady there. Uh, yeah. We've had a hectic week. I don't know if you've been watching uh, Bulgarian television. I, I, you've had BNT, BTV, you've had them all, haven't you? Yeah, BTV uh, was the latest one this morning on their uh, wonderful morning show this morning. Uh, yeah. We thought we were clear and down for a couple of days, having been filming for the last six days, and apparently the studio door went, <laughs> and in come five reporters and three <laughs> cameramen. They left about 30 minutes ago. Uh, it's a, a newspaper called Zob. I've never heard of it, but... Zob? Zob, yeah. I Not think, what I know. No, no, no. But it's coming out in that. Uh, of course, we were in the standard as well. Boy, yeah. oh boy, we're all over the place. And they're just, finding, they're just finding out that us Brits are talented people, and you're one of them. Excellent. It makes, it makes a change from coming around here telling you how to light your fire. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're, they're funny, these film crews. I mean, they, they come here. We've had them all here, BTV, BNT, Channel 7. And they, they literally, there's a lovely way they work. They just go to the mayor's office, find out where you live, and come and knock on the door. That's exactly right. <laughs> so, That's exactly well, right. Mind if I put some clean clothes on and, you know, <laughs> do the washing up light, you know? <laughs> I, love one, I love one newspaper who came in here. The, one of the ladies was fascinated. I'm sat yeah. at this mixing desk with 120 any buttons on it and she yeah. wanted to push them and I'm going no 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 please don't touch no. any of those no, no. <laughs> well, congratulations you, you deserve it it's a great radio station thank deserve you it. I, was, I was rather interested in that house you were plugging yesterday oh yes yeah. <laughs> I was thinking if I had a, yeah, I'll have that that's a nice house it's a beautiful house <laughs> have, you see, have you seen the photographs on the web page I, I did I went and had a look at it mate I couldn't resist and I thought yeah that's a nice house it's a bargain lots more of those <laughs> coming up uh, the lovely Esther Louise who is uh, down in, in the Yambol area looking after our property section she works very hard. I know there's loads more going on, but she's sneaking off for a holiday to Turkey. Don't know oh, how she nice. did that. Very, very nice. She asked me, am I going on holiday? I said, are you using four-letter words? <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful. Up in Wonderful. your part of the world where you were, up in Yorkshire, 
we've got a great guy his name is simon buckton he's uh, what we call the uh, 100 marathon man he's doing 100 marathons That's in 100 right. weeks fabulous yeah. guy he's just completed number 47 and That's it. Yeah, and he's also the, one of the torchbearers uh, for the Olympics up there going, I think, through Leeds. Well, good for him. I couldn't yeah. run 47 inches at the moment, uh, I think. <laughs> me neither. I could just about walk to the pub. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> and walk back again. Do, so this, this album, can people uh, download it and, and get it that way as well? Yeah, well, it's coming out in June. Um, right. I mean, some very, very interesting things. I mean, Valley and Demi are on it. The producer is all... It gets confused, and he's also called Jonathan Taylor. Right. Same name. Um... Not no relation, so we call him JT. After he's a producer, he's worked with the producers of Springsteen. Wow. At the moment, he's working with the engineer for Kate Bush. Very, very good man. We've got Lee Stovard, the drummer. Um, he's, he's been in. He, well, he's toured with Elton John. I suppose yeah. that's the best way to plug in. We've got uh, Hugh Bradley played at the Cambridge Folk Festival this year. Becky Taylor, again, no relation. She's a she's an Illan Pipe player. Oh, and right. if you get chance, if you get chance to check out these Illan Pipes, Becky Taylor. Uh, dot info, fantastic. She works with a Russian guy, a superstar called Aquarium. If you're into Russian music, Aquarium, right? And she regularly flies over from the UK, seventy thousand seater gigs, uh, and is a rock star. And he just loves these Dylan pipes, and wow. they have this wonderful relationship going now. And uh, what else we got? Oh, we have got Jimi Hendrix guitar on there. Wow. Um, is an interesting story for you. Uh, a friend of mine, Malcolm who uh, lives in New York. She runs a, a music shop in Skip, Danello Malcolm. Right. He, he had a friend who was a roadie for many, many, many years uh, for Saxon, oh, who had yeah. a friend who was a roadie for the Jimi Hendrix Experience. And uh, if you're familiar with your Hendrix Experience, or you can you get it on YouTube, just do YouTube yeah, it. Yeah. 1969, Royal Albert Hall, Jimi Hendrix smashed up and set fire to his fender, strap yes. on stage. Yes, yes. Well, this roadie managed to salvage the neck, kept oh. it for years, gave it to the friend in Saxon, who was a friend of Malcolm. And Malcolm runs, um, it's a Jimi Hendrix tribute band, is what he does. Right. And he bought the neck of this guitar and he restored it. So he has this original restored Jimi Hendrix burnt and smashed up strap. Wow. And Exactly, wow. And I've got this very bluesy tune called the Blame Train. And he's come in and that guitar is, is what's doing the solos on that blues track. Wow. And I mean, I've, I've played this guitar once. Uh, and it was on July the 4th, it was Independence Day, he came in, uh, he played Star Spangled Banner, and um, I played this guitar, and I played all the Jimi Hendrix songs I knew on it, you know, I'm thinking, my fingers are exactly where Hendrix's fingers yeah, were, you know, that, yeah. imagine that buzz, yeah. thinking I'm walking the same, you know, same, you know, yeah. threads as Jimi Hendrix, and I played it once, and I've had the chance to play that guitar again, and I've never done that, because I was so overwhelmed by playing this guitar, Right. I if I do this again, it's it's just ruined for me. It just becomes a guitar, yes, yes, you know. Yes. So I've always said, no, I've done it. Thank you. But that but that guitar, I mean, he won't actually tell me how much it's worth. No, it's no. worth a lot, a lot of money, mate. Absolutely. Yeah, so it's very exciting, and there's all sorts of things on there. Songs, I say, Sophia City of Love, Baba Mata. There's also some of the political stuff on there. Uh, there's some con controversial stuff. I'm known for doing controversial songs. Um, but a lot of the gigs I do, you know, you stick to some popular evergreen covers and the nicer love material. You know, sure. they, don't, they don't like the controversial stuff in the bars, you know no, what I mean? No, no. So but, tell uh, us, where, where are you working at the moment? Right, if you get yourself, if you're down Sunny Beach at any point, get to the Globus Hotel. The Globus Hotel. Globus Hotel in there, and you'll find me there. I'm all over the place. But the Globus Hotel, um, regularly there with a young guy, um, who's a, actually a fantastic musician, uh, Daniel. Uh, if I'm not there, he'll tell you where I am. But I'm all over the shop at the moment. So, so. you're covering the whole of the Black Sea beaches then, yeah? Pretty well, yeah. I mean, you get, you get, sometimes you'll get every night, sometimes you'll get a couple of nights, sometimes you'll get the afternoon gigs. Do you know what I mean? And sure. it changes because I, I don't know if you people are that familiar with Sunny Beach. Uh, it's very much now, you know, the beginning of the season, you get the uh, older retired couples. Then you tend to get a few families come in. Mid-season, it's the young ones who just want the drink. You know what I mean? Sure. So, yeah. So because it changes from, from week to week, you know, the bars then change the entertainment from week to week. Right. You know, so, you, so you then have to kind of, you know, be fluid with that. A fantastic gig coming up in uh, October I think it's October the 6th, but do check. And that's um, that's the Solistra Garden Party for the Orphanage. Ah, it's, with Bernadette, the wonderful Bernadette. Wonderful. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be playing at that as well, so we'll be there looking forward to that. I was, uh, I was hoping to come last year, but unfortunately I had a gig in Holland and uh, I, I do a television programme over there quite regularly, and that yeah. coincided with that. But I think we're uh, thinking of travelling down this year. Yeah. 
Yeah, Brilliant. I'd love to see you there. It'd be nice to meet you. It would, it would. Well, you know what I mean. We're here, there, and everywhere. And if you can get to Veliko uh, Turnovo in a month in July, we'll put, it, we'll put it together there as well. I will get there. Send me an invite official and I'll get there. All right, my friend. I'll get uh, Crispy to have a word with you online ah. and he can get you doing all that kind of stuff. By the yeah. way, where was the studio that you made the, uh, the album in? Right, the original recordings were made in Bansko. Uh, then they were sent to the Black Sail Studios with, as I mentioned, Jonathan Taylor in West mm-hmm. Yorkshire, Oakenshaw in mm-hmm. West Yorkshire. Uh, then some of the tracks were sent back to Roos, where we added stuff in Roos. Wow. Uh, it's a world of technology these days. Oh, isn't absolutely. It? Well, you know, we're in 26 different countries as we speak uh, right it? now. You know, I record an entire album. I've never been in the room at the same time with the other musicians. I mean, it's, no, I know. Um, it, it's, fun, it's weird, but fantastic, you know. But if you want the album, uh, the best place to go is to go to YouTube, have a listen to the tracks. Right. Uh, there's some pre-release demos on there. And I say pre-release demos um, because the songs have changed, but, I mean, they're perfectly good quality. Sure. Uh, it's YouTube, JT Bulgaria, or just Google Jonathan Taylor Bulgaria. All the links will come up. Um Come along and say hello, like my Facebook page, that's always appreciated. Brilliant. Uh, Facebook.com forward slash Jonathan Taylor Music, and it's J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N, yep. Jonathan Taylor Music. You'll get all the links there to everything is the best way. And uh, let's run a competition. I can, I can give you some free albums, there'll be downloads, free albums. Run a competition later on for me, right. and uh, we'll give away some free copies if you like to your listeners. Brilliant. If you can send the details to the office, that'll come through to me, and I will broadcast that as soon as I get them. Yeah, that'll be great. I'll, I'll get I'll get that to you. And um, I, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll put a dongle on each one of those because we've got these wonderful dongles, you know. You put in the earpiece of, yeah. uh, of your computer or laptop and you can broadcast for 100 metres so we can have your album blaring out as well. It's clever stuff, isn't hey, it? Hey, isn't it? <laughs> I was watching, I was watching uh, obviously, part of BTV this morning, watching the old stuff when I was a, on Pirate Radio and then went into Radio 1 and how the equipment has come about now. And uh, I was part of the crew on the first lots of Radio 1 Roadshow in 1972. If there wasn't yeah. a telegraph pole, Andy, we couldn't do it. Aye. What days? I've, what days? I've okay. built a new barn and used a telegraph pole for the roof joist, you know. <laughs> <laughs> they always come in handy, don't they? It's not a telegraph. It's the only thing I could find that was 22 foot long. Wow. So that's, wow. he's going right across the top barn now. Yeah. <laughs> Tele- we love telegraph poles in Bulgaria. Hey, listen, Jonathan, it's been absolutely fabulous today. Yes. Wish you the best of luck with the album and, of course, all your gigs going on down there. Yeah. Um, I hope the roads are kind to you with all this travelling along. I know they're doing some work down towards Burgat, but I'm not yeah. sure if it's up your way or not. But uh, some, some of the roads are a bit dodgy. I mean, I, the way I go is over the Revolution Pass. It's the lorries that are most frightening mm. at night. I mean, it's absolutely oh. terrifying. But uh, no, we do all right. Uh, before I go away, can yes. I just say one thing? Of course. Uh, some sad news this morning. I wanted, oh. I wanted to wish everybody well. Uh, Palomar Animal Sanctuary. Right, you know, yes. Uh, Jimmy and Trish. Yep. Uh, Trish is very, very ill at the moment. Has been, oh. She's gone back to London for treatment in hospital. Uh, and Jimmy put a post on, on Facebook today. She's very, very poorly. Oh. Uh, we just want to wish her, you know, the very best, speedy recovery. Yeah. Everybody's thinking about you. But the sanctuary will be closing, and they've got to find homes oh. for 20 dogs immediately. So if anybody can find homes for these dogs, mate... I mean, Jimmy would be, you know, quite relieved. And how can they contact Jimmy, by the way, mate? Um, I would imagine if you go onto his website. Right. Or I, I assume somebody... I mean, he's gone back to London today, I understand, by the post. If you go into the forums, you'll yeah. see a post there that I put there. OK. Um, I assume that somebody is looking after the animal sanctuary, animal sanctuary whilst he's run yeah. back to London. Yeah, yeah. So I assume somebody would be monitoring that page. But in honesty, I don't know. But if somebody could post something on the forum and let us know. Yes, um, but please do. do post to the 20 dogs. And then we'll see if we can do something, and I'll put it out during my show now, what's left of it, and uh, to see if we can get some support and people maybe even foster them for a while or something like that, huh? I think if we could foster them. I mean, Nick, Nicholas is saying from, to me from the other room, she's on Facebook, though, that, Nick, uh, that Jimmy's still here at the moment. Oh, right, brilliant. But, Jimmy. But, I mean, they, they do need rehousing immediately, and perhaps fostering is the way to do it. 20 yeah. dogs Maybe. Sounds. Yeah. I mean, such a lot of dogs that need immediate attention, yeah. and uh, yeah. let's see what we can do. And I'll put that out and about. That'd well, be fantastic. Regards fantastic. to Nikki in the other room. Hi, Nikki. Oh. How are you? She's, She's waving. <laughs> <laughs> see, modern technology. Modern nothing, tech, yeah. nothing like live radio, is it? This is wonderful. Yeah. Well, listen. Have a great day. Have a great weekend. Good luck with the gigs, and please come on again. Let me know as soon as it's released. I'll come back to you. We'll go live again, and we'll tell everybody how to get it right. Brilliant, and I'm coming in to do a live session at the end of the season. Please do, we'd love that. Yeah, we've got the great setup here to do live stuff. All right, my friend, 
Have Take a- care. Have a good day. Pratt and Den. Heidi Chow. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Jonathan. Yeah, Jonathan P. Taylor. His new album's coming out. Fabulous stuff. Hard-working guy doing all this stuff. And don't forget, as he just said earlier, there is now... Uh, some hope for 20 dogs to be rehomed down there at Palamarza. Uh Check out the Facebook pages, see if we can help them. Maybe you can foster one or two. Let's see what we can do. As always, uh, they never let me down. Paper aeroplane arrived. Yes, I know. I've got to get on with it. So I'm just going to do this. Big thanks to Jonathan P. Taylor. Let's do this right now. Well, wherever we're going. <laughs>